Hey there, this is the guy that tried to use Almas for AFK deficit pushing and welcome to this AFK journey video. So I just released a $0 versus $1,000 Almas comparison video, which I'll link in the card above. So if you want to see the comparison between how a lower tier Almas compares to a near max power Almas Supreme Plus with EX Weapon 10, you guys can visit that video. But the Towards the end of the video, I actually did a run with Almas, Iron, and Smokey team. And I realized that, hey, this combo is pretty decent. So let's talk about this team. Let's showcase the power of this team and why I'm in love with this team. Okay, so it is by nature a very smoky team. Like the core members will still be Smokey, will still be Fresto, will still be Iron right for the positioning for the tanking as well as the dps from smokey so the last two unit number one right we slotted in almas over here and then number two it's a flexible swap between rowan as well as hewin so here i put in hewin to give us the stats uh, bonus over here as high as possible and the reason why it's flexible between Ro and Hewin is because if you want your Smokey to get off his ultimate ASAP and if you can survive, then you should be using Rowan because Rowan hyper accelerates the whole Smokey third ultimate process. Whereas for Hewin's case, Hewin gives you more sustain, gives you more stats so that you survive better against enemies that just hits really hard for specific deficit stages. There's also another variant where you swap in Coco for that uh, slot because um, Coco is needed to dispel certain annoying spells from the enemy. So those are the few variants, but the core of this team will be the four units, which is basically the Smoky team plus Almas. So why is Almas good in this team? Why are you or why am I loving this team? Because I'm just gonna show you guys uh, through this battle, right? To let you guys see why i like it okay so let's start the battle so um why almost books at a supreme plus tier level in this team is because uh, iron's ultimate is almost immediate or rather it's immediately at the start of battle so this means that he will just pull the enemy together and the moment he starts to displace the enemy they immediately get stunned by our dear three boy group over here and they will be stuck in place. So this allows all the frontliners like Freyasto, such as uh, Iron, like uh, Aldea, Almas to walk slowly towards the front. And this allows us to place Smokey in the most centralized position in the map. So Smokey being in a very centralized position makes it such that his ultimate is going to cover a really big AoE and this means that you don't have to manually use Iron's ultimate to pull all the enemies in so that his ultimate hit all the enemies. So as you guys can see, I am autoing this whole stage as I'm talking to you guys. And I just cleared it. So this is one comp which I think um, the wheels will enjoy. Obviously, if you're somebody who's like a value player, for example, right? I wouldn't recommend you guys to go for Almas just to try out this team because um i think almas is more like a add-on to the existing smoky team to make it more hands-free but if you don't have him you can still run the team so he's not like a core must-have but if you're somebody who's lazy or you're somebody who doesn't have much time to manually grind every stage or you just hate it to manual like 20 to 100 over stages then this team comp is definitely one which you can try because this allows Smokey to stand right smack in the middle, right smack in front. It makes it so much easier for his ultimate to hit as many enemies. And this really lowers your, your, your time to stare at the battle, to manipulate the outcome. So you guys can see, I'm just talking through to you guys, explaining how the comp work while the whole battle is on auto. So there will be chances where all the enemies will not be inside the cloud. Right, so then that's where you might need to cancel the auto and manual your Iron's ultimate so that he hits as many people as possible. But in most cases, it should still hit as many people as possible. Although, as you guys can see, there's one stuck all the way at the corner. So this is where you might have to reset and then do it yourself. Although, 
right there is a possibility that um, our units can simply just kill this enemy off without us touching the buttons at all so we just let it run and then uh, i'm just gonna talk about this tip so right here as you guys can see almost died pretty early but it i mean he didn't really die he falls to 30 percent pretty early but he still does the job right as just a unit that extends the control duration as a unit that controls at the back line and actually he's a lot better being a unit at the back line because his role in the team is not actually a tanker to be honest i think after all these different testing with the armors iron com with the smoky teams as well as a certain store team testing i think this unit functions more like a support than a tank even though he has a tank tech so that's one thing which i think a lot of people underestimated because there's a bunch of really powerful tanks but in the support compartment yes there are a bunch of very powerful supports obviously but there's not a lot of control centric support so that's why i think almost comes in and he fits the role perfectly so we're just gonna do one last battle to showcase his manliness so before this um video itself before this recording i actually recorded like i think 20 minutes of me just pushing through afk uh, challenges but without touching the buttons i just auto my way but the the tiring part is because every stage you might have to switch out the positioning a little bit or switch out the units a little bit so this comp is not 100 percent hands-free there are certain enemies where you need to manual your smoky ultimate there are still certain enemies where you need to manual your irons ultimate for example like some of these robots they go into cooldown so you can't spam your ultimate there's also the spinny rocks there's also the spinny tornado but in general this team i'll say is pretty hands-free right pretty lazy people friendly as well so if you're somebody like me you know you like to auto your stuff you like to okay so this is one stage where as you guys can see right if you you can't auto because the enemies will just push you back and this comp might not work here so that's one comp which is not always i mean this is one situation where it's not always autoable right you gotta switch out and manual a little bit but generally i'll say with almost in this uh smoky team right if you are a whale and you are running smoke uh smoky teams and you are just uh, not having a lot of fun you know manualing every stage then putting for almost and using him in this manner could be one viable solution for you guys so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in looks like we might have slept on this unit a little bit too much but it's good that we have people that are willing to pull for him and here we have it to show you guys the different usage of this unit and how you can run him for the various contents from pve to pvp thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys